All right, so it is June 7th, and this is Wolf Engineering. We're down in the Rio Grande Bosque, just downstream of Alameda, the Alameda Bridge, and we are ac actually at uh, CA2 LEP, which is Calabasas Arroyo range line that the U U.S. Bureau of Reclamation uses to monitor uh, for the river maintenance program uh, sediment movement in the river. And what I wanted to do today was to come out with uh, the new equipment I got from Rickley uh, to give it a test. As the, uh, there's about 4,000 CFS coming down the river right here at this location. That's about what the cores are releasing from Cochiti and uh, a little bit of attenuation as we make our way down here. Um, this cross section is just upstream of the city of Albuquerque's uh, water diversion, San Juan Chamo water diversion bladder dam that runs across the river. When I, in the next video I'm going to get out in the river and test some of this equipment and I'll look upstream and downstream. So back to the equipment. Uh, first of all right here we have the uh, rotary bucket bed material sampler from Rickley. I believe it's the uh, RBM H80. Not quite sure of the, the number there. Um, and I uh, want to get out there and again that's a bed material sampler it's got the rotary bucket down on the bottom which will preserve the integrity of the sample as we bring it up through the water column and uh, we'll demonstrate that out here in the river in just a little bit right next to that is the uh, BLH84 bed load uh, sampler um, with I think it's a 250 um, mesh bag that's on the back of that right there and again that's the weightable bed material sampler uh, again purchased from Rickley here recently we'll get that out here and uh, and then lastly we brought out the DH48 suspended sediment sampler weighting type and uh, again we're going to demonstrate its use here in just a little bit so more later we're at CA2 with the uh, rotary bucket bed material sampler and Matt is going to uh, gonna take us a quick sample here. Uh, we are on the east bank of the river and again 4,000 CFS coming down. Uh, just demonstrating the use of this. It's about three, three and a half feet deep right here. So we've got a sample. This is going to be our procedure to, uh, to collect the material from the bed. We'll grab it making sure we get everything out of the bucket into the bag. And what we'll do is we'll composite this as we move across the channel. So Matt's going to take one more at this location for demonstration purposes. And we would pick five locations across the, uh, the, uh, the entire cross section and composite the samples as we work our way across. And this is our procedure right here making sure we're not losing any material as we're bagging it. And again, we sometimes have to scrape to get the fine particles into the bag. But we do that and we end up with a good representative sample using the rotary bucket uh, bed material sample. My observations of this, lots of sand and you can feel it actually moving by the feet and you would expect that with uh, the flow where it's at today. So. That's the uh, demonstration of the uh, rotary bucket bed material sampler. Good. CA2 again at the, at the Rio Grande with, with 4,000 CFS coming down. And here's going to be the demonstration of the uh, BLH84 uh, bed load sampler. Again, uh, from Rickley. And uh, Matt's got it in his hand. And it's set up again with that 250 uh, mesh uh, bag to collect the sample. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the, in the, onto the bed, leave it there for approximately 45 seconds, uh, and see what's uh, moving along the, uh, the bed of the river. So just for the, the essence of time, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, bring it up right now, and we'll see what we've got in the, uh, the sample bag. And again, it's a lot of sand, um, and it, it captured a, a, a fair amount. Now, for uh, the initial sampling with uh, BLH84, we 
would not composite samples going across the riverbed so that uh, we would learn a little bit more about the distribution of the bed load moving down the river. Um, but what we would do with this again would be to uh, empty, uh, empty the contents of the bag into another uh, Ziploc bag and we'll go ahead and demonstrate how that would be done right here. Would be, uh, some care would be taken to a person operation and it's again a little more tricky doing this to not be able to lose any of the, uh, the bed material. Doing our best job to preserve the quality of the uh, and integrity of the sample itself. But you generally can't get every bit of material out, but you can get a, you know well over 90%. And again, you know we're getting uh, getting a representative sample. So that's the use of the BLH84. Uh, our, our initial uh, initial testing of it. Good. So again, on on the Rio Grande, 4,000 CFS coming down. This is the uh, the third and final sampler that we're going to test out this morning. This is the DH48 handheld suspended sediment sampler. Um, again, I got from Rickley using the pint uh, pint sized plastic bottles. So Matt's going to demonstrate uh, how that goes into the sampler right now. We have the nozzle already attached, again, straight from Rickley it came. And so that's the simple, simple spring-loaded application on the back right there. And it is basically ready to go. So uh, we're going to go ahead and collect a suspended sediment sample. I've estimated the velocity at near four feet per second, maybe three and a half feet per second where Matt's going to do the sample at. And so that's a, a little bit under of a total of 10 second transit time straight down to the bed of the river, then back up at the same rate. And hopefully we're going to have the, uh, a good, uh, good three-quarter to seven-eighth full sample bottle. And it looks like it. Uh, Matt's got it right to the base level there. Let's see what we got. There it is. Um, right here by the bank, uh, you know, there's some very fine material traveling in the water column. Obviously, we can't see the bottom right here. It it's, is the Rio Grande course and uh, not a not a not a clear uh, clear stream or river by any stretch down here but uh, again uh, that's a that's a good uh, good volume of sample right there so that's a good demonstration of the uh, the ideal sample uh, that you want to get uh, volume wise so we'll dump that out and we'll uh, mess around a little bit more here but essentially that's what I wanted to do uh, today is to, to go over these three samplers and test them out for our own use because we're sure hoping to get out on, uh, onto the river for the Bureau of Reclamation or any other clients and, uh, and collect uh, total load measurements. So that's it for today. Again, it's June 7th, uh, 2016. Matt Kennedy, uh, Chris Murtaugh, and myself, Doug Wolf, out here on the river.